One of the questions that we always get from people is the actual process of the infusion itself. Mm -hmm. Is it painful? Do I need a port? Can they just, you know, do it without it? Or what was that process like from beginning to the I, infusion part? I decided to get a port only because um, I, my veins are pretty thin, and mm -hmm. even when I, you know, they get give, when I get blood, sometimes it's it's difficult to do. So I opted to get a port. Um, but there were um, other people in the infusion room who didn't. So um, basically, it's like you know, getting getting an IV. So you know, they'll they'll go into your arm, um, either arm, and usually you know they'll they'll rotate. Um, but I decided to get a port, and it's it was painless. Um, you know, I would take a deep breath, breathe out, and he would go in my port, and um, and that was it. You know, it wasn't wasn't anything to it. You know, it really was was simple. Even the other people that I was sitting with, asking them, you know, or, and they're like, "No, I'm fine." You know, and um, they were relaxing recliners, <laughs> you know, and and I brought my phone and I would listen to music or or talk with everyone there, and um, you know, and it was it was really um, yeah, it was it was a great experience, mm. pain free. Mm. Don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the environment like as you walked in? Like, what were you anticipating? And then what was the environment like? You know, did it surprise you at all, or was it what you expected? I, you know, I, I really didn't have any expectations walking in, um, but the staff there, they were amazing. You know, they're very friendly. They're very accommodating. Any questions you have, if they don't know, they're, you know, they're, they're talking to, to Dr. West and, and getting back to me. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I felt very comforted. It was, um, it was just, you know, it was a you know, it's, it's, it's a nice place, you know, and, and, um, it, it, it was, it was a great, great, great opportunity. And, and, um, I'm glad I, glad I went. Aww. And then how does that differ? Cause you're doing both the injections and the infusion. So yes. what was their reasoning to do both? And tell me that process. And so I didn't, I, I've been doing subcutaneous, subcutaneous, um, before I came, um, mistletoe. And then because I have the, the bone mets, um, I've also done, um, Leon Plumblum, which is another, um, injection, but there's really nothing to that either. I mean, you you think, oh, yeah, you have to stick a needle in your in the fat in your stomach, and it <laughs> sounds terrible, and you know. But it, really, it, it's it's painless. It's a small needle, and you just pinch the fat, and you go in, and it's over, and you know, a, a matter of a few seconds. Um, so um, while I was doing the IV mistletoe, I didn't do the subcutaneous. Okay. But now that I've finished the IV. Then I'll continue on every other day, three times a week. Um, I'll be doing the subcutaneous mistletoe and the Leon Plumbum. Yeah, and that's something that's just amazing is, you know, with the mistletoe injections themselves, you know, they do so much with, you know, with, when someone is having tumor related pain, it can ease that. Mm -hmm. You know, it can, it actually attacks cancer cells without attacking your good cells. Right. You know, it helps uh, elevating your mood and your energy and mm -hmm. strength, which is amazing. But also long term, it also prevents recurrence. So once you're free and clear, it, it helps to, re to prevent the recurrence. And so a lot of people are surprised to know that even myself, like even after so many years out, almost 10 years now, that I'm still on mistletoe. I'm on a maintenance dose. Mm -hmm. And um, and I feel like I, it's, you know, you always have to risk the benefit versus the cost and the benefit far outweighs the cost, you know, of, of doing the injection. So I always encourage yeah. people, never stop, <laughs> never stop because it really is so helpful to you unless your physician, of course, you know, you know, recommends that for your case, it's important, but, um, but no, you notice a huge difference you in, do. in that. So. You do. Yeah. And I've spoken with others that have, um, done subcutaneous mistletoe and they've had great results too. Mm -hmm. Um, I had one lady that I was talking to, um, who, who we, we connected through a, through a third party and, um, she never had to do new lasta when she was doing chemo. Mm. Because she did mistletoe, mm. and it would, it boosted her immunity um, mm. so much that she didn't have to uh, do the new lasta. And she said, "My doctors and nurses said you'll be back. You're going to need that." And she didn't. And for those who don't know what new lasta is, can you share with them what what that helps with? Yeah, so that helps with your white blood cells mm -hmm. after you get chemo, um, with your white blood cell count um, dropping, so that you'll you your immunity drops, and so you're going to catch anything that comes along. And so um, sometimes you're hospitalized because of it. You know, it's it's really a dangerous, dangerous situation. Um, so they give you new lasta, 
But when they give you Nulasta, you need some other drugs because it causes bone pain. Mm. Um, and so um, this particular lady, she said, no, I'm, I'm not going to do it. And she just did subcutaneous mistletoe. And she said, I never needed it. That's amazing. Yeah. So it kept your yeah. white blood cell yes. counts at a yes. good level. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. And those who are doing chemotherapy, I hear from them all the time that, and especially those who did it who didn't have the mistletoe and then started it in the mm -hmm. middle of their treatment, they notice that they're not experiencing the nausea, mm -hmm. um, the vomiting, the side effects that can sometimes occur um, yeah. from the chemotherapy. So it also yeah. helps with those side effects as well. Yeah. 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 It's awesome stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for sharing a little bit more about, about that. I Absolutely. know that going to be really helpful for those people who have questions about it. Yeah. I'm happy to do it. <laughs> <laughs>